Greetings all you maniacs, their minds, manic rhymes, and welcome back to yet another installment of Manic Mondays. I am extremely sorry about the video yesterday. I am extremely sorry about the video yesterday. I am extremely sorry about the video yesterday. I rushed the editing like a fucking idiot. Um, it was completely my fault, and plus, if you didn't see it, I didn't get anything done in Subnautica anyway. I scanned one thing, which was the um, power cell recharger blueprint i have it now actually as you're watching this well not as you're watching this but later to the day that i'm making this video i have already had that installed into my base and now i can charge my power cells great that's going to help me a lot in the long run so i don't need to keep remaking them because they're kind of annoying to make batteries not so much power cells but, um, I also got some more Cyclops stuff. I got the engine, uh, scanned. I'm just missing more parts to scan, and then I'll be able to make my Cyclops. But that's going to be a long ordeal. Same thing with the prawn suit. The prawn suit, um, I'm still looking for the, uh, aluminum oxide crystals. I have a great idea where they are. They're about... 145 meters down so they're not too far down somewhere in that range and I am looking for the Grand Reef they're in the Grand Reef I'm not sure where that is for my island if you know then let me know you say go north south east east west you know from where my base is and that will give me a good starting point to look for it because once I am able to make the prawn suit and have it, that's going to help me out in the long run. Again, that's going to really, really help. And I've been finding uh, scan scannable upgrades for it. I found one part. Uh, it was in that wreck that I couldn't get into. And that's where I got the uh, power cell charger, finally. And, um, holy shit, there is so much noise happening right now. My brother and his friend are just laughing their fucking asses off at nothing probably but anyway that's besides the point that wreck contains a lot of stuff and i'm gonna have to go back there and i was a smart in this time and put a beacon at the at my base i should have put a beacon at the uh at the um wreck that i found but i have a pretty good idea where it is now i'm gonna start doing that i'm gonna start carrying around a few beacons once I get the storage thing for my uh my uh sea moth, I'll uh carry beacons around with me. So when I find a wreck of importance or uh area of interest, I can just put a beacon there and I can find it again easily. Small things like that's gonna help me a lot. It's gonna help me a lot of uh help out with a lot of pain and hassle. And I'm sorry about having to scrap the video before a lot of people got to saw it. The editing was horrible. My fucking bad. I'm so sorry. But anyway, in other news, Halo 2 on Legendary will be starting up soon. I actually might do that uh, the next video. So, I might. I'm actually kind of planning to. <laughs> Unless you guys want to see me play more Xenoverse 2. If you do, let me know. Let me know what you want me to do. Do you want me to do one of the new requests by myself? Because that's an option. The new quests are hard because the enemies hit hard as fuck. Damn, the Universe 6 dudes do not fuck around. They hit hard. But, you know. Halo 2 on Legendary, let me know again. Just seriously infinite ammo or no again the infinite ammo skull does not affect plasma weapons so the plasma pistol that i'll be using to take shields out i'll have to replace it a lot so that's the only real hindrance there anything that does not have a clip basically yes actually yeah if it has a clip it has unlimited ammo i don't know why they did that that's really weird and, um, I'm going to have to test if this USB stick works. 
well, flash drive. I don't know why I called it a USB stick. But um, if it, it, I'm betting it will, because why wouldn't it? But yeah. This is going to help me a lot, because I won't need to get Halo 2 for the PC, and I can actually play it in the, advanced, in the uh, updated graphics. I actually might up play in the updated graphics. The only problem is the certain weapons, like the carbine, the muzzle flash covers the sight. I hate that so much. It's so annoying. But anyway, back to Subnautica. There's a lot I, I still have to do. There is a lot I have to do. I have to, first of all, make my promise suit. Second of all, get the blueprints for the Cyclops. Then make the Cyclops. And then make things on the Cyclops. So I can have a mobile base. And then get upgrades for the Cyclops so I can go down deeper and go into the the inactive and active lava zones. That kind of shit. So there is a fuck ton to do. That is going to take me forever. It actually might be in <laughs> next house. That shit will start happening. It's going to take a very long time. Because progress in that game is very slow. Um. And. Yeah. But I'm glad that a lot of you really do like my Subnautica videos. And Purple Videos, you are extremely helpful, dude. I will make a locker with your name on it. Um. Anyway. This is directly to Purple Videos. Where the hell is the Grand Reef and, you know, all the things that I need for the Cyclops? Not the Cyclops. Well, did that will be eventually. I'm pretty damn sure. I need aluminum oxide crystals for the Cyclops. But for the prawn. From my base. Like, what direction from my base do I go to get to the Grand Reef? Let me know. And I, and I mean as in... When I walk into the reactor room, that kind of direction, which north, south, east, west, northwest, whatever, let me know so I can narrow it down and save me a whole time, a whole lot of hassle because this game has been crashing on me. It crashes every now and then, but it's still really annoying. So that about wraps it up. Uh, do you guys want to see more Xenoverse 2? Do you guys want to see uh, some other Halo games other than just Halo 2 on Legendary, which I'm going to be starting up very, very soon? Like, I could I could honestly do also Halo 4 on Legendary, even though that's going to be a absolute nightmare. And I could do the Spartan Ops. Not on Legendary, because hell no. You guys are going to want to see Spartan Ops on Legendary, aren't you? Aren't you? Don't play. I could also play more Dokkan Battle once more events come back. There's like no events. <laughs> None of the boss events are here. Oh man, and I got a shit ton of items and everything. Oh, Because I've just been like fucking grinding for items and uh, stones so I can refresh the shop to buy more items. Not with actual money, with in-game currencies. Like Zenny and points and stuff. But once more events come out that I can actually do, because I'll try it off camera. If I can't do it without a stone, I won't film it. But most of the events I'm pretty sure my, I can actually beat with my team. Uh, so if you guys want to see more of that, let me know. I'm betting that none of you do, even though you guys seem to not mind me doing Dokkan Battle. Uh, but yeah, real quick, this is a System of a Down shirt, by the way, If you, in case you guys were wondering. I also got a new corn shirt. Of course I did, right? Fuck yeah. Don't judge me. Don't at me. Anyway, I could also play some more Leopard at 2. Left 4 Dead 2, I do want to do more videos on it, but I don't know what, which missions to do. Isn't there, like, Steam Workshop ones? Like, fan-made ones that aren't actually in the actual game? I'm pretty damn sure there are. Because if that's the case, I'll do those. 
But, you know, Subnautica is going to take forever. Halo 2 on Legendary is going to come out very, very soon. It will probably actually be the video, you know, the next video on Tuesday. So, will I go back to doing Subnautica only on Sundays? I don't think so. Because I want to, I want to get progress. And if that means playing off camera for like five hours a day just to get more and more progress, I will do that. Um, but mostly I do want to do more exploration than creation. I keep saying that. Subnautica, for me, I want more exploration. I don't want to have an entire video dedicated to making one thing. I don't want to do it like that. And I think you guys will appreciate that. You know, just get on with it. Obviously, my new objective now is to go to the Grand Reef and other places like that. Can I even go down there? I have uh, the pressure compensator on my Seamoth. I should be able to go down far enough to get the things I need. Again, purple videos, let me know. Let me know where on, on fucking whatever planet we're on. I don't even know what the planet's called. Arena has a name. Probably does in the lore somewhere, but... Let me know where I can find the aluminum oxide crystals and the aerogel. Those are the two big things. I have plasteel and I can make lubricant. Super easy. Super easy stuff to make. It's the goddamn other things. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked it, leave a like and a comment. And remember, in Trilby, we trust.